What's going on everybody? It's the legendary Golden Mike Holder, ill round writer Zub's the last letter. And you're listening to the face off with Zama Dube and of course with uh, John Travolta. Nah, Zama Dube YFM 99.2, check it out. It's cool. Nice. Zub's cool. letter. One take wonder. Okay, so now we're getting there? Yeah. Eight minutes after 11, you tuned in to GB's Hardest Frequency, YFM 99.2. And it is about that time. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Come closer to the mic. Good uh, morning. My Good guys. Morning. Ninja, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's another ish, you know. Clearly, the music industry is just male dominated because m- most Fridays I have men in studio. No, it's actually the other way around. The South African music industry is female dominated. You don't reckon? you agree, Zubs? Well, uh, it's it's probably a nice balance. Look, I don't. I think there are more guys, but if there's more guys coming here than Zama, you need to check yourself. <laughs> I need to check myself. Girl, check yourself, because we just come when we're invited. If the guys <laughs> invited, it's like find other guys. No, I love it when like, I have okay. ladies in here. I mean, the then long invite time. Them. Invite them. Then I invite do them. invite the ladies, but yeah, that's cool. why I'm saying there aren't that many. Really? I promise you. Wow. I promise That's you. That's a tragedy. I Ish. promise you. Yeah. Or maybe there aren't that many that are being granted the, that kind of recognition. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But maybe. I mean, let's not get into the politics of music. <laughs> please. Um, please do introduce yourselves, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, me, my name is Mpo, a.k.a. Petfo from Deeper Tribes. I'm with my half here. Uvuyo, a.k.a. Tyler, Deeper Tribes, baby. Zub's the last letter, aka Zub's the last letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because your mom said I just gave birth to a beautiful <laughs> baby boy and his name is Zub. Zub the last letter. Zub. <laughs> Zub. <laughs> Zub since I was eight, dude, trust me. So yeah. oh, it's, it's not even just an aka. Like everyone yeah. knows me as Zub. Yes, so. Zub. Anyway, Zub's the last letter. It's good to be here, Zama. Great to have you guys. I'm now telling Zim that you probably don't remember me because I've grown so much since then. Um, <laughs> I interviewed her, I was still in high school. I think I was yeah. in grade 10 or grade 11. I was still uh-huh. doing uh, community radio in Durban. Really? Yes, this really? is around 2005. Was I out in Durban? You were in Durban, oh, nice, yes. Nice, nice. So, That's I a mean, long you, time ago. You've, it's, it has been you've a very long time ago. You've a beautiful, ago. fine woman. Look Thank you. you. Looking lovely behind yeah. the Thank desk. you. Thank you, you very well, much. Well, it's good to see you again, Zama. Great to see you, gentlemen, and great to have you in studio with me. So, uh, yes. This track <laughs> that I'm going to play, uh, Extras, which is taken right. off uh, the much anticipated album. This is a fourth yes. album that's about it to is, drop. It is. It's my fourth studio recording. Um, I love this one in particular because this one has is, is, is started a new era in the Zub sort of musical career. And so it's a big deal album for me. This is a big deal it's album, big and we're gonna album. unpack as to why it's titled Dragon Lion Full no Circle. Crap. Extras, this is music from Zubs. The album is due to drop later on in the year. Zamadribedyfm.co.za. Send your questions, your comments to my guests in studio. Drama, this is the theme song We play whenever we wanna Get our silver screen on Unscripted dialogue POV cameras Scorsese angle shots DDOP pans across the faces of the 99%ers that showed up Cussed up, hot, full, had enough, bout to blow up Emotion like a geyser, building from inside him Bout to burst pipes, pressure cooker like a cider Can shake and write to the core, they want more Hand make a tight fist and ball, the sign for Defiance anywhere you're landing On the planet, you find us at the front chanting Our demands and camaraderie, we're here standing Hand in hand for the crest, coat of arms standing For the families, behind the Obvious allegory of Hollywood lies a story of sheer glory and fortitude. Background, 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 like we do matter, matter, disappear into the background, background, like we do matter, matter, extras in the background, background, like we do matter, matter, disappear into the background. It's taken from the match anticipated album Dragon Lion Full. Circle is music from Zag's Extra, taking us to 16 after 11. And here's a, a tweet coming through from Dumelo that says, One question for Zabs, where has he been? <laughs> where, where have, have you I been? been Oyola, uh, well, the thing is, 
I haven't really gone anywhere. Yeah. I've just been around. I think I think what happens is when people don't see you splashed all over the TV screens or all over the magazines mm -hmm. or front pages, that all of a sudden you've left the the planet. Like you're yeah. now living on Uranus or something. You yeah. Know? <laughs> but um but no, I've been around. Um I mean I've done some stuff. We did the T Z Deluxe at the beginning of the year with Toomey. I did the sixteens for sixteens on the on June sixteen on the yeah. mixtape. So I have been around and I have been putting out some music here and there, cameos. But I believe that, you know, personally, if I don't have music to speak for me before I come out, then I really don't have to come out. I don't okay. have to say anything, I don't have to be anywhere, I don't have to be at the front page of anything because I'm a musician first before I'm like a picture on a magazine or a okay. face on the, on the TV. So what are you saying? Are you saying that um, you delayed an album because you felt that you had nothing to say? Well, I always have something to say. I mean, yeah. that's why we're on Twitter and that's why, you know, we are online and such. But I feel like if, if my music is not going ahead of me, mm. then I have no business going out there. I'm a musician, dude. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not just out yeah. there for out there's sake. Mm, so when you. I'm known, it's not like I'm known and famous for famous sake. I, I make music. So mm. I start with the music and I let the music open the door and then mm. I come through with everything else over and above. It's like Muhammad Ali. Muhammad you. Ali had his opinions and his politics. Mm -hmm. But he needs to be in the ring for him to yep. be relevant. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I get so for you. Me, that's, I respect that's, that. Yes. Yeah. So I, I mean, now that yeah. the new music is coming out, you're likely, you're likely in the next 12 to 18 months, you're likely going to feel the opposite and say, "How it's out? Can you please?" <laughs> You're Just, all over the place. Yeah, yeah now you're everywhere. 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 But I mean, tell me about the title. I, 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 I'm, I'm assuming that there's a very interesting story behind this one. Dragon Lion? Yeah. Full Circle? There is, there is, there is. Um, I, I always name my albums um, with something very relevant and material to me at a certain point in time. Mm. And Dragon Lion Full Circle is relevant to this moment in my life. Yeah. 2012, um, my extras, the first single came out in July, the... The Leo year, the Leo month, sorry. Yeah. The year. So Dragon Lion is literally that. We're in the year of the dragon. I was mm -hmm. born in the year of the dragon, so mm -hmm. we've come full circle. Um, I released the album on, in, you know, as a Leo in, in the month of the Leo, mm -hmm. uh, as in the month of the lion, which represents who I am. But over and above Dragon Lion full circle being about the dragon and the lion, it's also full circle because this particular project reminds me of my last letter mixtape, which I gave away for free before I did my debut album. Mm. And that moment set the tone for the whole entire decade's worth of Zub's The Last Letter as people knew him yeah. before the one last letter dropped. Mm. So this one is doing the same thing. It's setting the tone for a new era of Zub's The Last Letter, um, just like the first album did. So we've lit the first mixtape. Yeah. So we've literally come all the way around. Full come circle. full circle. Very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. This will be a very nice interview. I'm excited <laughs> about this. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Zabs. And I mean, you're also another artist that is uh, heavily dedicated to um, the, the message behind your music. Absolutely. And that is something that you have remained, you know, honest with throughout, you know, your journey, in, you know, in, in making music. And how hard was that? And, you know, especially there, there's so many debates around this whole conscious, non-conscious hip hop. And, uh, and I, I think that right now, as well, because, you know, Hype Magazine was celebrating 50 years. Uh, I mean, sorry, 50 issues. <laughs> Not 50 years, yeah, yeah, yeah. my word. That would have been lovely. It would have been... <laughs> but, um, out there with balloons. <laughs> you know, um, and uh, obviously then there was the list which caused a lot of controversy. Yeah. How do you... Um, you know, c c compare yourself and especially in a genre that is highly competitive, uh, you know, um, hip hop, and yeah. you, you, you still ensure that, you know, what, I'm not going to give in to the pressure of being in inverted commas, commercial or radio friendly. Well, I mean, it's like, it's like you said in the break and you said when, you, when we came out, when we came out, as an artist, I never see things as like the music business, for example. I mm. see it as like an emotions business. Mm. As an artist, I'm not in the business of like making you dance or think or whatever first before I make you feel. Mm. You know? So mm -hmm. the first place I start from is an emotions place. And when you start talking about emotions, you mm. start talking about things that stir people's imaginations and, yeah. and ideals yeah. and philosophies and stuff. Mm -hmm. So of course I'm going to talk about love, I'm going to talk about politics and stuff, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about family, I'm going to talk about the neighborhood, I'm going to talk about poverty, and, you know, and those things are not deep. There's yeah. nothing conscious I, about things everyone goes can through. Can I every engage day. you on Wait, that? Yeah, yeah. So when you talk about things everybody experiences mm. every day, mm. and you don't talk mm. about things other people don't experience, mm. you're considered deep or conscious. I don't get that. <laughs> So when I talk to people about True. how 
I love my mom, or I come from a family that is so diverse and so many different. It's considered deep. That's weird to me. It is. You know, it's very weird when I speak about a, a, a man who's in love with two women at the same time. Is that deep? That's not deep. That's everyday. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> so I, I dedicate my artistry to evoking the emotions of everyday people who get past an accent, who get past a genre, who get mm -hmm. past the fact that this is music, mm. this is an idea, this is a concept, these are thoughts, these, these are philosophies. So that's how I make my music. So yeah. when you draw up lists and such, mm. I mean, I don't engage <laughs> things like that because I'm not in the lists business. <laughs> I'm in the business of emotions and I create artistic works through music. So, uh, you know, I can talk, I can debate about whether or not a violin makes sense in a song or whatever. Yeah. But I'm not going to debate somebody's opinion on who 50 people in the world you know, should be put in chronological order. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to debate that. Yeah. That's as far as I'm going to say about that. And the competition thing, mm -hmm. quickly, before you engage me, the competition <laughs> thing is, it's, it's music, it's life for us. We yeah. live it. Yeah, me man. and Deeper Trans, these guys, we're not in a competition. We're not we're Usain not, Bolt. Man. I mean, I did a song called Usain Bolt on the team, but we're not in a competition. Yeah. You know, no, sure. There's no first prize for who's going to, oh. nah, man, you know. I mean, there's awards out there and such, that's great, that's a different yeah. realm. Mm -hmm. But we out here living daily. We're meeting yeah. people, we're touching yep. lives, we're changing perspectives. Yep. This is not about competition. Yep. Ah. So if you want to engage in competition, that's your story, that's your life, that's where you're at, and that's what you do, great, go ahead, I support that, fantastic. He calls this album a pan-African celebratory call to re-engage life. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. A pan African call to being. I love it. That particular song you just played is called Stereotype. Yeah. No one in the world has heard that song, except maybe 12 people. And this is the first time anyone outside of it's those circles has heard it. So, so this, this is, is like, the first this, time that we're playing it on air. Indeed. Uh, and indeed. it debuts on the face off at, on YFM. Please don't forget that, Zama. We can't. How can we forget that? But tell me a bit about, uh, you know, this um, track and the making of the track. Well, this track, Stereotype, um, was recorded at the Motif Studio. Uh, that's the studio owned by Tumi. Because Motif don't sleep, Motif right? Motif don't sleep all week. <laughs> And months and years and, and centuries. But uh, yeah, the motif. I recorded it there. It was produced by a Zimbabwean producer called Simba Tags. Mm. And he mixed it as well. Um, mixed here. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, mixed in Zim. Um, mastered here. And basically, it's, it's, it's a song. It's a song that celebrates anybody that's managed to break out of the restrictions that are given to you by other people outside. They mm -hmm. stereotypically give you these boundaries and you break yeah. out of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you break out of those stereotypes, I toast to you. So this song is like a toast to all those people who overcome stereotypes. I'm going to make it available this afternoon okay. for download. So um, check my timeline on Twitter this afternoon. I'll give you a link, just like with extras I gave you for free. I'm going to give you this song for free as well. Uh, check my Facebook as well and check the YouTube for the lyric video. Mm -hmm. Or this afternoon. You can, you can have it, you can share it with your friends, you can rap to it. And yeah, when I see you live, we'll celebrate it together. So, I mean, you, you say that uh, you, the, the, you, you toast to people that are able to, uh, you know, break free of stereotypes sure. and what people call them or, Especially you know. Especially negative stereotypes. Um, tell me about, I mean, you Zimbabwean born. Tell Zambian. me about uh, yeah. Zambian. Zambian. Zimbabwean raised, but I know it gets confusing. <laughs> I thought you were actually... It gets confusing. Yeah, to me. Yeah. yeah so, all over the place. Okay. So, it's a <laughs> so when did you move to Zimbabwe? In 1980, actually. That's when my family moved to Zimbabwe. But I was born already by then. Okay, so I mean, uh, but you, would you say that you have more of a connection to Zimbabwe than you do with Zambia? That wouldn't be correct. That's like saying I have more of a connection to Zimbabwe than South Africa. Yeah. Just different I mean, things happen in different gonna, countries. I I'm not going to be based on the song, Zama, but that's, I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's the truth. Different countries represent different things in my life. Okay, but let my me father is buried in Zambia. Okay, that's my home soil. Okay, I understand yeah, that. Now, my let memories me of my you. first love are in Zimbabwe. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. My entire rap career is in South Africa. It is in South Africa. So how can I now... But what kind of relationship do you have with Zimbabwe right now? I love that country. Yeah. What an incredible country. A yeah. beacon for the continent. Mm -hmm. um, I was out there uh, for the Haifa Festival earlier this year with Tumi and the Volume. Yeah. Uh, we did the Haifa Festival and we just traveled around, met people, spoke to people, met communities. Yeah. Spoke to guys on the ground, got different sides of the CNN story, you know. Mm, uh, which is very, <laughs> you know, important. And I mean, how do you respond to people when they ask you? Because I'm sure you've had people ask you, of course. do you um, think that Zimbabwe still has hope? <laughs> how, do you, how do you respond to that? How do you respond yes, to that? Yes, I do think Zimbabwe has hope. 
no doubt so politically about economically absolutely I, I don't believe in in absolute utter dire desperation to the point of hopelessness i don't believe in mm -hmm. that um, I, I don't always agree with people's politics. I don't always agree with political um, stances and political, you know, uh, policies and such. But I do agree with ownership. I do agree with um, with um, claiming the roots mm -hmm. uh, and the soil that your roots are buried in. I do agree with that. I do agree in a sense of disenfranchisement that African people in general mm -hmm. have experienced over the years that mm -hmm. needs to be addressed and it mm -hmm. hasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so many things about, about the Zimbabwean situation that I do agree with and others I don't. But okay. one thing I cannot agree with is that that place is, is now just a shadow of its former self mm. and it's gone to ruins and nothing good can come out of Zim. I completely disagree, disagree with that. With that. Yeah. So this album, Dragon Lion Full Circle, um, it's the fourth album Indeed. for the people that have been following you since day one. Mm -hmm. um, four albums later, what is different from this album then? I mean, besides the fact that you've gone, <laughs> you've come full circle. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, um, this one, unlike the others, has got a lot more input from people outside of South Africa. Mm. So, for example, I have an artist called Ten Diamond from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I have an artist called Bombi from um, Zambia. An artist called Manifest from Ghana. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, and the artwork was done by Mozambican called Ricardo. Mm. So there's a lot more of continental sort of contributions to In Africa. Africa like. Yeah, you know. So it like, really <laughs> is a pan-Africanist. <laughs> no joke. I was yeah. just saying yeah, that. Yeah, you were just saying, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, and that's just the beginning. There's it's so much the more to unpack, yeah, from the record. But I mean, thank you so much uh, for coming uh, in the studio, guys, um, and all the best with your future endeavors. The time is over. They had to give the most talkative girl in the station a two hour show. Sure. We need to boycott this before. movement. Yeah, thank no. you very much for joining me in studio. All That's the best, great. and thank you. I will catch you on Monday between 10 and 12. Dragon Lion Full Circle, bring it back.